When I first found out I'd um, had mitochondrial disease and I was reading like, the pamphlet that I'd got from the hospital, thinking, oh my God, why is it happened? To not just myself but my son, because obviously we're losing my first son. I found out I was a caviar, my daughter's a caviar. It was quite a shock. Mitochondria are the very small fragments in each cell in our body that is essential for producing energy. The way people think about them is really like little power stations or little batteries that really produce the energy that all our cells need to work. So there are a range of different mitochondrial diseases because there's lots of genetic defects which affect mitochondria. And those diseases can affect patients of any age. We can certainly try and help the patients, try and make their lives or their family lives better, but there isn't really a cure for mitochondrial disease. He does use a wheelchair, but he's not confined to a wheelchair. We use that long distances, because he can't walk very far without being tired. He can't run like other kids can, so that's frustrating for Adam because you can't keep up with kids of his age and whatever. Just little things like that does like get to you because you're thinking, oh, my son should be doing like what other kids can. And he like, he can't basically. I mean, he's 11 year old, he can't even like ride a bike properly. The new centre is trying to marry together the basic and the clinical science around mitochondria and mitochondrial disease. By bringing together the top basic science with clinical science, we really will be able to make a difference to the lives of patients with mitochondrial disease. Not only through techniques to prevent the transmission of mitochondrial disease, but also by trying to marry that basic and clinical science to come up with new treatments for patients with mitochondrial disease. Those that are currently affected, not just future generations, but also those who are currently affected with mitochondrial disease. This has affected Adam's kidney. I was told he could end up needing a heart transplant somewhere down the line. Sometimes he just shrug it off, but other times it does I like, get to them. One aspect of the centre is to try and prevent the transmission of mitochondrial DNA disease. This mitochondrial DNA is specifically passed down from mother to daughter. And what we want to try and do is to try and prevent that transmission by transferring over the nuclear genetic material from an egg which has got defective mitochondria and defective mitochondrial DNA into an egg which has got healthy mitochondria. We've got to really try and ensure it's as safe as we can so that we could offer this to families. I'm strongly for this research and what like Dr Turnbull's trying to put across because I've got a daughter who's seven she is a copy of this mitochondrial disease. So if it all gets passed by Parliament, my daughter could benefit from it in the future regarding her having children. If we can prevent the disease in the offspring, potentially that could be carried on through the generations. And therefore, it's perfectly possible that this means that this disease within that family could be wiped out altogether. <laughs>